Okay, let's just take a minute and hopefully my face will dry. So this morning, I'm gonna be trying out a new sheet mask that I found at Walmart. This is the St. Ives Glowing Apricot Sheet Mask and I picked this mask up for $3. So if you're new to my channel, one of my favorite products to try out are face masks. I'll put the link to my playlist in the description box below, or you can click right up there to watch. If you enjoy watching face mask reviews and you'd like to see more of them, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about this sheet mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I didn't even know St. Ives had put out sheet masks until I stumbled across these accidentally, but let's jump on to St. Ives website to see what they have to say about this product. It doesn't really say all that much. It just says, ditch the dull. This sheet mask made with 100% naturally sourced apricot extracts helps refresh skin so you can bring on the glow. Paraben free, dermatologist tested and made with 100% cotton. So for ingredients, we have glycerin, which is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient. Glycerin doesn't really help moisturize your skin. What it does is it holds water against your skin and this helps keep your skin hydrated. Uh, next, we have a guave Americana stem extract and this is an anti-inflammatory. We also have caffeine, which works as a diuretic and aids in circulation and is an antioxidant. And according to Paula's Choice, it has the ability to calm irritated and reddened skin caused by sun damaged and rosacea. Next, we have vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. Next, we have niacinamide, which is another name for vitamin B. And this is also a skin restoring ingredient that helps with uneven skin tone, fine lines, and dullness. All right, so how do we use this? Unfold mask and position it over clean, dry skin. Smooth to fit the curves to your face, adjusting around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Leave on for 10 minutes and soak in the magic. Okie dokie. Whoa, this is nowhere near my nose. This is down by my waist and I just got this waft of fragrance. I don't know why companies keep doing this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I'm being a drama queen about this, but I just, I don't like a shit ton of fragrance in my face masks. Yeah, there's a lot of fragrance in here. Right where my fake finger is, is where the fragrance is listed in the ingredients list. I don't find overwhelming smell in sheet masks enjoyable. There's also, whoa, and there's no divider in this either. And there's a lot of serum. Okay, there is a, this thing is drenched in product. Like it's almost running down my neck. I guess one positive is I'm not having any trouble smoothing this out and getting it on my face. I mean, I'm having a few issues getting it to lie flush against my eyes, but it's smoothing out, but it is uh, absolutely drenched in product. So how long am I supposed to keep this on for? Fit the curves of your face, adjust your own leave on for 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm not a fan of the fragrance at all. It smells like a combination of peach snaps and fabric softener. So the time is, oops, hold on, got some missed calls here, gotta fix that. So the time is 1.17. So I'm gonna try and enjoy this as much as I can. The smell is kind of getting on my nerves and there's way too much product on this, which has me paranoid that this is gonna be super sticky once I remove it, but I'm gonna try and remain open-minded and I will see you guys in 10 minutes. So the time is 1.27. So time to get this off. And then I, I'm supposed to just rub the serum into your face. There is just so much serum left. I just can't imagine all of it absorbing into my face. So I'm just gonna try and bring it down my neck and hopefully it won't stick. It could be here a while. Okay, let's just take a minute and hopefully my face will dry. Okay, so I've given it like another five minutes and my face is still drying. So let's talk about what I don't like first to get it out of the way. So unfortunately with this one, there is so much added fragrance to this that it made this mask almost unwearable for me. I'm not one who is super sensitive to scents or anything. Fragrance in skincare is a pet peeve of mine. I don't typically care for it. I find it difficult to lay back and relax and enjoy the mask when I have something that smells like fabric softener directly under my nose. Also, this mask is drenched in serum, which is one thing I could possibly get past, but I was just unable to enjoy this one. It just felt like the whole thing was just coated in peach scented fabric softener all over my face. It just wasn't a pleasant experience for me. As far as how my skin feels though, yeah, I mean, I still, look. There was so much serum on this. 
don't know if you guys can see the pull there. I can't wear masks that leave a sticky film on my face. This was what I was afraid of. I, oh my God, my neck, ooh, cause I brought the serum down my neck, ew. Okay, now I need a shower. I'm all sticky and gross. So the serum is super sticky and the scent is unbearable. So this one is uh, definitely a no for me. The only thing that's great about this one is the price, but quite honestly, there are good quality masks out there for the same price that don't leave you all super sticky. Look at that, that is just so wrong. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.